I'm Rich Vinozzi. I'm an assistant professor in the Survey Engineering Technology program in the School of Engineering Technology here at the University of Maine. This is, this is my second year on the faculty here. I've been teaching surveying at other, other colleges around New England, but um, I graduated from here in 1984, and uh, coming back to be on the faculty um, was uh, you know, a, sort of a great honor for me uh, to be teaching in the same places that I took labs in uh, 30 odd years ago. So uh, where we're standing right now is where I took classes um, I have one of my old professor's offices as my own office, which is kind of neat. Um, I had 20 years of private practice before I decided I wanted to go into teaching, and um, that is uh, what makes it so that our ed education here is so practical. Um, I always tell my students, I never ask them to do anything or teach them anything that I can't justify from something I've done in practice. Surveying, um, obviously the first thing people think about is the field work. And you have to like to be outdoors. Um, and usually early part of your career, you're outdoors more than indoors. You have to like math. You don't have to love math. You don't have to be a, a math whiz but you have to be willing to do math to solve problems because we use math every single day. I think you have to have an appreciation of history because a lot of our work has to do with old records and old markers and, and doing research in, in uh, archives uh, to understand where people's boundary lines are. Um, so you have to be willing to work with technology. Most of our time, even when we're outside, we're using technology uh, and electronics and computers even when we're out in the most um, uh, roughest uh, weather and roughest terrain. The University of Maine's surveying program has been running for uh, since the uh, since the 70s and so it's one of the longer tenured programs around so we have our roots go pretty deep alumni wise we have lots of alumni that are uh, working in the profession Right now, we're the only fully online accredited surveying degree program in the United States. At this point, we have over 150 students from around the country that are taking our program. We have our faculty all have many years of practical experience and a lot of uh, education and stayed current on all the new technologies as they come out. In your classes, you will have a chance to use equipment like this total station. All the equipment we have is current generation stuff. You'll have a chance to look ahead and see the technologies that are uh, coming along. You'll have a course in photogrammetry where you'll have experience with uh, drone imagery. We have scan stations so that you have an opportunity to uh, see laser scanning. You'll use uh, LIDAR, uh, aerial LIDAR imagery for analysis in other classes. So everything we do is, is stuff that is currently being used in practice and if it isn't, it's stuff that will be during your career. We always look ahead a little bit and try to make sure that your education isn't just for the day you get out, but you get enough of a view ahead to be uh, relevant um, in the decades uh, beyond graduation. Right now, there's five jobs for every graduate. Um, the companies that uh, support us, the industry support we have, the alumni support, they're screaming for our graduates. Even in economic times that aren't strong, there was still a demand for educated surveyors. Um, that demand never diminished during even the worst of economic times. Our graduates work all over the place. Some of them work, have gone down to Boston and worked on um, uh, cutting edge projects. Uh, the big dig in Boston, that was, uh, there was some groundbreaking surveying when GPS was in its infancy and our graduates worked on that. Um, we have graduates working on uh, solar projects, wind projects, uh, working in utilities, uh, working on marine development, uh, all kinds of projects all require um, surveying. If you have any questions, there's lots of ways to, to research us, to look at our website, to send us an email. The faculty here, we, you know, we, we're on a first name basis. It's like industry. It's not, you know, doctor, professor. 
it's Rich, it's Ray, it's Carlton, because that's the uh, collegiality that, uh, that we uh, want to develop in our program. Um, you know, I, I look at students as being, they're students for four years, but they're colleagues for the rest of both of our careers. And that's how we try to approach our relationships here on campus.